हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोड्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू सिमेंटिक टैग्स इन एच टी एम एल वी हैव बीन यूजिंग डिफरेंट टैग्स इन एच टी एम एल फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम नाउ एंड वी नो द यूजेज एंड वर्किंग ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ दम सो इन दिस वीडियो विल गो थ्रू सम टैग्स विच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नॉर्मल टैग्स विल गो थ्रू सिमेंटिक टैग्स एंड वाई वी यूज दम इन एच टी एम एल so before we begin if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel already make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos so without any further delay let's get started there are two different types of tags present in html we know about the div tag and the span tag in html right these tags have their name but it does not refer to any meaning in simple words we can say that we can use a div tag to create a division but we don't know what it means to create a division we have to use css and specify certain properties for creating a complete division out of the div tag in html on the other hand semantic tags refers to elements or tags that define their meaning to the browser and the developer now for example when we create a navigation bar for a web page we have two options we can either move to the body tag and we can write here div id as let's say nav then we have to move to the css file and we have to use certain properties or we have to add the data in here inside the div tag to create a particular good looking navigation bar the div tag we use will specify only a division in the browser it has no meaning at all fine the other way of creating this navigation bar is by using the nav element the nav element means that anything that goes inside the body of the nav tag so we have to write here nav this tag specify that any content goes there inside this tag will represent the navigation bar of our web page fine so this is the difference between non semantic tags and semantic tags in html the div tag falls under the category of non semantic tag and the nav tag falls under the category of semantic tags fine a lot of tags are present in html which falls under the category of semantic tags we have already discussed them in the previous video so the list goes like this we have the article tag a site tag then we have details figure footer header mark nav section summary and type so we have already discussed most of them previously like the article header figures mark nav etc the detail tag is quite interesting to go through so let's go through this tag and we'll see its usage and syntax now the details tag is used along with the summary tag to create interactive widgets using html widgets on a web page are mainly created with the help of jquery and jquery ui but html 5.0 also provides us a way to achieve this task we are going to create a widget using html fine so let's remove it from here we are going to use the details tag so we'll write here details this is the body of our details element now what we'll do is we'll use the summary tag inside it so we'll write here summary fine let's write something over here so let's say we are writing over here youtube and then we'll use a paragraph over here fine so we'll use the p tag for that let's say we'll write here go to youtube search for simply code and subscribe to a channel fine now using the detail tag can make a web page more interactive for the user it is an example of semantic tags in html so the word details defines itself right it means we are providing any details within this particular tag so let's check the output now save the program and you can see here we have the text present inside the summary tag so we have youtube written over here we can see here we have used the word youtube inside the summary tag so we have youtube written over here now you can see we have this arrow shaped thing over here before youtube we have this arrow shaped thing click on it and see it expand now we have this paragraph over here fine it says go to youtube search for simply code and subscribe to our channel we can also increase the size of this paragraph let's do one thing over here we'll write over here lorem 35 we are going to use 35 words from this paragraph save it now open it again and here you can see we have this whole paragraph present over here 
fine so it's working totally fine but other things we can do is we can remove this paragraph from here and just do one thing just remove this summary as well so we'll remove this summary as well now save the program and you can see we have details written over here by default this is the tag name click on it and you can see it says youtube fine so it's totally fine if we are not using the summary tag or the paragraph tag inside the details element it's totally up to us what we want to do so let's just undo what we did till now now another thing we can do is we can style these elements according to our need so let's say we are going to style a paragraph with the font color as red fine save it now click over here and you can see the paragraph is red in color fine same thing goes with the summary tag as well we can style it as well so it's a widget actually the main motive of this video is to make you guys understand the meaning of semantic tags we use the form tag in html also right for creating login and sign up forms so it also falls under the category of semantic tags in html so basically any tag with meaning falls under the category of semantic tags with meaning what we want to specify here is the tag should explain what it is used for like the form tag is used for creating a form like the details tag is used for giving the details to the user such tags falls under the category of semantic tags in html so i hope you guys must have understood the concept of semantic tags in html by now that's all for this video guys see you in another session if you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you